Thousands of people in England give blood every day, but few people know the amazing journey each bag goes on. It involves many people, many processes, a fleet of vehicles and some fascinating science. Your blood donation journey. Step 1. Donor Center. The journey of blood starts with someone deciding to do something special simply by donating their blood. After booking an appointment, donors are requested to arrive at their arrival time. When you attend a blood donation session, after a health screening and an iron test, we can decide if you're eligible to donate. That's to make sure we protect the health of both the blood donor and also the patient who receives the blood. If you are eligible to donate, our donor team will start your donation. Your blood naturally flows into a special bag that contains an anticoagulant to stop it from clotting. It gently rocks to make sure the anticoagulant mixes through the whole bag. The blood donation part takes about 5 to 10 minutes, and as well as the main blood bag, we also fill a few sample tubes for testing. All in all, around 470 milliliters of blood will be taken, just under an average bottle of water. Your body will replenish this volume in 24 to 48 hours. Your blood is made up of several components, such as plasma, platelets, and red cells. Your body makes about 2 million new red cells every second, so it only takes a few weeks to build up stores of them again. The first step to this replenishment is helping yourself to a well-deserved drink and snack. And that's it. The whole blood donation process only takes around an hour, but your blood's journey has only just begun. Your blood and sample tubes are labelled with the same unique donation number and barcode to link them together. Your barcode is unique to you in your donation, so it can be traced at every single stage of the process. Your label's donation is then packed into insulated containers. This is to protect it and to maintain the temperature and quality of the blood. Our transport drivers then collect the blood from that day's session, taking it to the blood processing lab. Around 5,000 units of blood are donated daily. Whilst your donation goes off to the labs for processing, your donor safety check goes to our donor records and the samples taken with your donation go to the testing labs. Step 2. Processing. Once in the lab, the blood goes through a process called leukodepletion, the removal of the white cells. White cells are only used in rare circumstances. Removing these cells reduces the risk of infections being passed to patients. It also reduces the risk of a reaction in the patient receiving the blood. If you have a rare blood subtype, such as RO, your blood is fast-tracked so it can get to the patients who need it as quickly as possible. If a donor is a rare subtype, then we will make sure to let them know. After the white cells have been removed, a centrifuge machine is used to spin your blood into separate components. The blood plasma is driven to the top of the bag, the red cells to the bottom, and blood platelets sit in the middle. Think of it like separate layers of a trifle. This is why one blood donation can save up to three lives. The bag is then squeezed, separating the components into different bags. Each component has a multitude of uses and thousands of people also donate just their blood plasma or blood platelets on special machines at our donor centers. Blood plasma, for example, can help create life-saving medicines. Blood platelets can help people with blood cancers like leukemia, and red cells can be used in traffic accidents. Now is when the lab team tests for your blood type, any rare subtypes, blood conditions, or any infections you may not be aware of. This happens every single time you donate. All tests are done to be sure that donated blood is as safe as it can be for the person receiving it. All the results are added to your donor record, and your blood type is labelled on the blood bag. If there is an issue with your blood, you'll be informed as soon as possible. All blood can be traced and removed from circulation via the barcode. After the final label is applied, the components are stored at the correct temperature, ready to be issued to hospitals. Most components are ready to be issued three days after your donation. Step 3. Hospital. Hospital transfusion laboratories request blood and components using an online blood ordering system. Hospital labs respond to requests from the hospital wards for components and are highly trained to understand what their patients need. The request is automatically routed to the local blood centre. Our transport team are essential to the whole process, whether it be transporting equipment or transporting the blood products where they need to be. Red blood cells and platelets have a limited shelf life and therefore we only collect what is needed. Red blood cells can be stored for up to 35 days, platelets can be stored for up to 7 days, and plasma can be stored for up to 3 years. If you have a really, really rare blood type, then your red cells may also be frozen and stored in our national frozen blood bank. 
Once hospitals take delivery of the blood components, they log them on their system and undertake a second round of testing. This is to double check that everything is correct. Only then can the units be used to treat patients. The blood products are then requested by the ward as and when needed. This could be for planned transfusions, where blood is ordered in advance, such as for sickle cell and thalassemia patients. Or it could be used in an emergency, like a complication during childbirth or a serious accident. The hospital wards collect the blood type they need when it's ready to transfuse to a patient. They have to sign out the products using the barcode. This is why our blood supply is one of the safest in the world. Once your blood has been issued, you'll receive a text message telling you where and when your blood has been used. It's one journey involving so many people, resulting in patients' lives being saved. And it's all thanks to our amazing donors and NHS team. Every day, every person and every blood donation counts. Learn more at blood.co.uk. Thank you to all our donors and staff. We couldn't save lives without you.